Welcome to the channel. It's 9th edition 40k. It's World Eaters versus Black Legion. Hi, Joe. Hello. We're back. Yes. And we're playing Chaos on Chaos. Chaos on Chaos. But it's not Chaos Space Marines versus Chaos Space Marines, Joe. It is all new World Eaters versus Black Legion. Yes. I'm very excited. So technically still Chaos Space Marines. Technically still Chaos Space Marines versus Chaos Space Marines. But yeah. today I'm going to be running the World Eaters. We're going to play... Are we playing Tempest of War? We're playing, we're playing Tempest of War, right? Yeah. Tempest of War. Yeah. Uh, Chaos Space Marines, Black Legion variety, probably led by Abaddon. Don't leave him without uh, taking on the World Eaters led by Angron. It's another World Eaters battle report. I'm loving them right now. Um, so it is going to be Tempest of War. We haven't drawn our cards yet. So let's get some Tempest of War cards. Right, Joe, I found cards. Well, yes, you look beautiful, dear. You you look beautiful. My hair. <laughs> yeah. I found cards. We've got primary missions. We've got deployment zones. And we've got uh, mission rule, right? Oh, yeah. Each of us gets a single veto. So draw the top. Well, you can shuffle if you want. But otherwise, draw the top card from each. And we all get a single veto, right? Yeah. Are you with me? I'm with you. So draw the first one. We have got a primary mission, which is claim, claim the, the battlefield. So each, so control one or more five, control two or more five, uh, and that's it. But you also get object, uh, points for every action you do on an objective. Okay. You claim it, two points for each action you do. Uh, infantry or obsec? One or more units from your army with the infantry or obsec can start to form this out in different range of different market. It actually completed at the end of your turn if successfully completed. You have two points. Okay, okay. I mean, that's really good for your banner icons, isn't it, in Blood Surge? <laughs> I mean, it ends at the end of your turn anyway. I know, but... Yeah. So, deployment map, Joe. Oh, he's shuffling. He's shuffling, team. He's taking it seriously. This is just showing that we do, in fact, randomly generate Tempest of War. Spearhead Assault. Pointy Dawn of War. I'm okay with that. There's a small gap in the middle. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mission rule, Jay. <laughs> Oh, we're shuffling again. Taking this very seriously, John. I am, I am. I want yeah. people to know that it is random. It is, in fact, random. Yeah. And that we haven't just set it up. Our mission rule is warp lightning storms. <laughs> set everything within range of an objective. Roll a D6 and a one that a unit suffers one mortal wound. Yeah. So we're fighting in the eye of terror. Would you like to veto any? I want to veto warp lightning storm because we'll just forget about it. So we always forget So about Joe it. vetoes warp lightning storms. I'm actually going to veto claim the battlefield. Yeah. They don't want to do any actions. It's boring. Oh. So I'll pull a new primary objective. Burn and raise. God damn it. So, <laughs> I, mean, it's, action on the objective. I mean, it's more chaos. But it's, yeah. So it is control one or more for five. Control more than your opponent for five. And then you can burn and raise an objective if each objective you raise is worth five victory points. So one unit from your army can start from this action uh, at the start of your movement phase. If it's within range of an objective marker, start of your movement phase is important that you control. It's not within your own deployment zone. It's completed at the end of your turn. It's successfully completed. The objective marker is raised and removed from the battlefield. It's worth five points a turn. Burn and raise is kind of chaos, though. I kind of like it. Yeah. Narrative. That works. New mission rule, though, Joe. Sweep and clear. Uh, so obsec sticky objectives. I mean, that's better. That's better. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... That's a rule we'll remember. So we've got burn and raise, spearhead assault, sweep and clear. We'll go and deploy and take a look at the armies. And so we've deployed for this 2,000 point game of Tempest of War. I'm excited. You excited? I'm very excited. I'm excited. Good. Right. Okay. World Eaters have deployed. We've agreed that this, all these ruins are obscuring. So Angron's hidden behind here. I have a Arcs of Emin Detachment because Joe and I are now using Arcs of Emin Detachments for everything we play. Yeah, it's yeah. just easier, right? Mm -hmm. My compulsory choice is tro my compulsory choice is troops, Joe, but it could have been elites. It wouldn't have made a difference. Yeah, but I've gone. No, I think it has to be elites actually because I've got four elites. I think it has to be elites. You've got a dreadnought and three units of yeah. Has to yeah, be elites. Okay, so it is elites. All right, heading it up is Angron. He's the warlord. That means he gets his warlord trait for a CP, which is turn off obsec for everything within six inches, like all your terminators that gain obsec, right? Don't. Don't leave it to mind. Don't, it's just this, thousands of death. This game guard. triggers me on many it's just, levels. It's just thousands of death guard, Joe. I don't even get it, so don't worry. Yeah. My red butchers, not red butchers, don't get it either. Yeah, but guess what? Your terminators are a point cheaper Shh. and just better. So he can also give a single core unit reroll hit rolls, uh, or character that is, so he can give it to himself as well. Uh, he got a aura that he can pick either reroll or hit rolls of one, re add one to attacks characteristic, or you can't fall back, okay? Um, that's picked in the command phase. He's super cool. We love him very dearly. He also has his second in command inside a rhino, Khan the Betrayer. Yeah. Big bad Khan, mm. who's an absolute monster nowadays. He is. He's terrifyingly good. Scary, yeah. yeah. Uh, inside there, you also have a 
champion, what are they called? With the axe, choppy choppy axe man. Choppy uh, axe man. Master of execution. Him, man. yeah. He's my only non named character, and so he's got my warlord, which is minus one to wound. My Not my warlord, my relic, but yes. minus one to wound. Yeah. Okay. So choppy choppy axe man with his axe of dismemberment is inside this rhino with Khan with his axe that to hit off six does two mortal wounds and then attacks at his end. It's pretty tasty. And then finally, we have Lord Invocatus. At the moment, I do not see a world eaters list where he's not in it. No. I, th I feel like if there is one auto take HQ and world eaters, it is Lord Invocatus. There's, e there's, there's a strong argument for two, him and the Juggalo. Yeah, I, yeah. I think competitively for top table stuff, you won't see Angron, you'll see Lord Invocatus and another Juggernaut. He allows you to move um, pre game and gives you plus two inches to all your movement. Yeah. So it just makes world eaters flat faster. Yeah. Specifically, eight bound, more on that in just a moment. We have four units of five corn berserkers. Each has an axe and an icon, with the exception of this unit in here who don't have the icon. Yeah. Everyone else has the axe and icon. Okay, the axe is like the big axe. It's like a power fist, but better than a power fist. Yeah. Yeah, no minus one to hit. No. AP4. Mm. Super tasty. So good. Yeah. Uh, so we have four, uh, four units of five of those. So there's five in here with Khan and my choppy choppy axe man. And then ten in here, two units of five in this one as well. MSU Berserkers, I feel like, is one of the ways to go with World Eaters. Uh, then have three units of three eight bound. Standard eight bound because they keep core. So they don't get weapon skill two plus. So they don't get a four up in vulnerable save. But they do have core, which means they benefit from all of the buffs and abilities from all these guys. For example, Angron and his plus one attack is for core units within six inches. So they get the plus one attack. Right, which is pretty tasty. Um, Khan is reroll ones to wound core units, so that's yeah. super important. What this army misses otherwise is another reroll ones aura from a demon prince, but the demon prince just kept dying. Yeah. So mm. it was a bit disappointing. The fourth elite that we have is a looks like a hell looks like a contender of Lascar. It's actually a hellbolt of heavy bolters. The warp does funny things, Jay. It does. But it is a hellbolt with heavy bolters right yep. now. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 So he's there. Um, Actually, been proven quite useful, more useful than I thought he would in games that I've been using him in. So I'm keeping him as a backfield objective holder right now. And then we have two rhinos because you don't leave home without trusted rhinos. It's just free free movement. They're so good. They are, uh, rhinos are super efficient. Well, the right. thing is, if you fly in Vacatus next to a rhino, you then disembark three and move eight with berserkers. Yeah. You've then got 11 inch moving berserkers before they charge. And if you've got an icon, you can roll 3d6 and discard the lowest. Yeah. That's just incredible. It's amazing. That's very good. Yeah. Okay. So that is my 2,000 points on the nose of World Eaters. I've been having a lot of fun with them lately. A lot more than I expected. We'll see how they go against Black Legion. Black yeah. Legion has like, typically been like a bogey army for me to play against. Mm. Because Joe knows his Black I'm Legion. I'm taking out my rage now yes. <laughs> on the World Eaters. Yes. Like, spoiler alert. I've not had a great time fighting World Eaters, so I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't know what you're talking about, there's a couple of streams already up on the channel where you can watch back what's happened. There's also a members-only World Eaters game against Tyranids that went last went live last week. Mm -hmm. Check out all that stuff. That's for our Skull Tier members if you want to check out the members-only videos. We're now going to be putting up a battle report every other week for members, as well as the members-only streams on Tuesdays, because I just love a big member. Yeah, they are the best. They are the best. Mm -hmm. Here, Joe, we have 2,000 points of Black Legion. Yes. I love it. Done. Okay, thanks. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, it's Arcs of Attachment. My compulsory choice in this one is Elites. Oh, okay, like me. Yeah, but in the first, in in charge is Abby the Don. Yep. Um, and then following him is a Master of Possession, which is here. And he's got the one that gives possessed uh, demon, demonic units within six inches, four plus in vulnerable save, and also the one that allows me to revive models. And okay. heal wounds, which is very, very good. I have also got a demon prince uh, with the mark of Nurgle. Uh, he's got the the Gorget, Gorget of Eternal something something hate. I'm going to say assume, which gives him a two up armor save and a four plus in vulnerable save. Tasty, that's nice. He's got a warlord trait, which basically gives him a five up for no pain. Okay, uh, so he's quite good. He's very, very good. And his psychic powers is minus one to be hit, which is the Nurgle one. And he's also got Death Hex with his psychic power. Turn off Inverness. Yeah. Oh, as a note, the Master of Legends Mark of Tanesh as well. Um, in the troop slot, I've got three units of five Legionnaires. Each one's got a Tome and a Gatling Cannon cool. in it, which is very, very good. It, uh, and then in the Elite slot, I've got two units of Slanesh Terminators. You've time. gone Mark of Slanesh finally. I've got a, yeah, I'm giving it a whirl. Now it's more expensive. Okay. Just more, just small points unnecessary. <laughs> it angers me. Right, does I've that got. Not, does that not make your terminator? It's like thirty-eight points a model. They're two hundred points a unit of five now. Wow. 
Yeah, and they've got one less attack than yours. They got fights first, free interrupt. That's worth yeah, it. Yeah, which is very good. Yeah, which is, which is good in itself. And obviously, being Black Legion means I get plus one to hit when I'm charged, or if I'm shooting the nearest. If unit. I had to pay twenty points for my Terminator to get a fight first, I'd pay it immediately yeah, for worthy. It is very good. I've got these two things here that look like Leviathans, but they're not Leviathans. They're actually Decimators, which have got the exact same stat line, just sixty points cheaper. Yes. and their Demon Engine, and slightly smaller base, but we're not going to worry about that. Yeah, and then I've got Contempt of Dreadnought with okay. Twin Volkite. Oh, he's, he's bringing out the guns today, Jay. Yeah, I am. He's fed up with the world he's oh, right now. I'm done, I'm done with you. <laughs> and that's that's my list. You don't get much for 2,000 points. Well, you forgot your warp talons. Oh, yeah, I've got a unit of five warp talons. Yeah, which is interesting. Some yeah, fast I'm a speed. big fan of warp talons, actually. Are you? Why? Yeah. Why is that? Well, they're, they're a fast-moving combat army. We're, they've got, like, five attacks each. Yep. In Black Legion, they hit on, on twos. If you charge, charge, yeah. If I charge. They re-roll all wounds. Yeah. If you want to fall out of combat with them, you've got to, you've got to do a roll-off. And obviously they've got an invulnerable save. They're I think invulnerable. they're underrated. I genuinely yeah. think they're underrated in Chaos yeah. Space Marines in general. So I'd, I've got, I would have run two, but I wanted to see what Decimators do. Mm. Um, okay. Whether, to, whether I make that investment. Perfect. Mm. Sounds good. So that's our two 2,000-point armies. World Eaters versus Black Legion. Let's see if Joe can break his World Eaters curse. By the way, lots of spoilers. Well, I'm going to say it now. If you haven't watched all of our other World Eaters content, we'll probably talk about it a fair amount during this game. So just, if you haven't, just pause this, go watch the rest, yeah. maybe. But um, You've got time. It, I've now given you time to pause. Yeah. But Joe's had a very bad time with World Eaters. Yeah. They're, they were... We thought of the, I thought they were a very good army to begin with. And then having played against the table on them. They do, they're a very so aggressive I've army. I played Brom once, so mm. that doesn't really count. But I've played you three times, and yeah. I'm 4-0 with them at the moment. Yeah. Too competitive, too Tempest. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So, we're going to go into the first roll-off, Joe, to see who goes first. Yes. Did you want first turn? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Let's see. I want to go second. I. That's not a good start. Please roll a six. Mm. Oh, World Eaters turn one. Coming up next. You've Kapoor. gone second every time as well, I think. I really wanted to go second. Yeah. Second's it, really, really good. It, like at Drakari, it's an army that needs to go second. Yes. I think. Yeah. But let's see what happens as we move into World Eaters... Turn one. Okay, we return to the action at the end of the World Eaters movement phase. Angron bellowed some orders out. They were strange. Investigate a site, do an action within six inches of the centre, behind enemy lines, get into their deployment zone, and assassinate, kill their characters. Predominantly, I guess, Abaddon. Angron, the demon Primarch, not happy with Abaddon calling himself a war master. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. It's a narrative. The humbling of, yeah. of, uh, of the big angry red man. So my first turn, as always with World Eaters, is super quick, Joe. There's yeah. not much going on. <laughs> Disembarked Berserkers 3, move them 6. We're 3 inches from the objective, but more than an inch away from the wall. Move Rhino around here with 5 more Berserkers in. Move Rhino up here with Khan and um, Choppy Choppy Axe Man in. These uh, 5 guys, 5 guys, five guys, moved a total of 8 inches. They gained plus 2 from Lord of Vicar, so he flew over here um, and touched onto that obscuring terrain okay Lord of the Carters flew over here to do that um, but he's within three inches of the dreadnought is the idea right and then these three here just pushed into the ruin but because he was here first they got 11 inch move they got 11 inch move nice. so we're at the other side of the ruin here but touching the objective we're on that objective and I'm going to do my action because yeah. I don't want to be doing it with berserkers later it completes it into my turn it's just free two points yeah so I've got two points yeah. and I've done investigate site and I kind of want to get rid of behind enemy lines because I feel like we're just going to have a big punch up in the middle of the battlefield. Mm. Aren't we? That makes sense. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just get rid of that one. I can't get rid of Assassinate because the World Eater in me wants to kill your characters. Yeah. Because that's cool. So we're keeping Assassinate. I score two points. I need to score. I need to shoot some guns though. Yeah. Oh, that. my um, old grudges, whatever it's called. Yeah. It, I think it makes sense to call it old grudges this game. Angron. Like, everyone within six inches of Abaddon. Just pick an Angron. Okay, that's why, I'm, yeah. that's why I've kept him hidden, tucked in my little ruin out of yeah. the way. So it gets me right. Wrong. To wound so I have a heavy bolter. Yeah. I'm going to shoot at that over there. Oh. Okay. Angron gave him reroll all hits. Yeah. Because I'm not doing anything else with anyone yeah. else. Because you're hitting on fours, though, aren't you? So I'm hitting on fours with full rerolls. I mean, it's a good start, Joe. It's a very good start. In fact, Angron can give them reroll all hits, and then you can just go reroll ones. No, I would have given him reroll hits because I would have been hitting on fours. So this... changing your rules after you've rolled the no, dice. No, then I realised what I said, right? How so... very Bromers. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Strike five, tap just fours and threes. So I've wounded you... Are they not Mark and Nurgle? No. So I've wounded you five at the time at minus one. Oh. So it's three dead Space Marines. That's four dead. Oh, yes, minus one. Four yeah. dead Space Marines. I forget Armour of Contempt's gone. Yeah, I'm not going to re-roll it at this point. Okay. We'll leave Mr. The Banner Man. I have... 
a combi bolter from a rhino. Yeah. Is he in range? That's no. the back corner, no? no? Okay. We have a copy bolter from a rhino over here. Mm. He's in range of this unit though, right? Yeah. Two shots. I hit you. I wound you. I thought it was paying off then. There we go. Okay, I'm done. So it's finished. Oh, a leisure test over there. Fine. What did you need? A six to fail? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. So you have just Hello, missed the battle man. A five, the leisure nine. Uh, leadership nine with a champion. Oh, eight with the because I've kept the yeah, the magic so, yeah. So the magic a four would have failed, a four would have passed, a five would have failed. Yeah, okay, but I'm done. Yeah, so that's it. Cool, <laughs> I, cool. Click, I didn't want to hang around. So I, I'll draw some cards live. You did it live, yeah, seeing as we're here. Assassination. Oh, cool, we're killing each other's characters. Hold the limes, can't do it first turn. Oh. shuffle it back into the deck, Joe. Behind enemy limes, the same as me so far. Grind them down, grind on me, kill more than I kill. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Black Legion, turn one. Yeah. Coming up next. And we're back at the end of the Black Legion movement phase. Quite aggressive, Jay. Yeah. Warp yeah. talons have flown up onto this objective. Um, Space Marines, Legionnaires have pushed up here. Terminators pushed up here. In comes the Leviathan, not Leviathans. What are they called? Decimators. Decimators yeah. uh, Abaddon's leading the line with the Terminators here. Demon Prince pushed up in support. Little Mr. Bannerman ran into the ruin, scared. Yeah. And then the other Bannerman and the Gatling Cannon stepped out from the ruin because they want to go see things. Uh, I feel like... I feel like I'm getting a blood tide point from this. <laughs> it's, it's happening. Okay, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so it's the wizard phase now. It is the wizard phase. We go into some magic. So we go for a smite over here onto the rhinoceros. Yep. Goes, Goes off. off. D3. D3. The two. Two more. Two wounds on the rhinoceros. Um. Then ah. the demon prince, prince of demons, will... I don't know. <laughs> they give yourself minus one to hit. It's normally ha helpful Good. if you know Goes before off. we start rolling dice. Uh, this guy here is going to smite. Smite. Goes off. D3. No, 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 no. This is onto the... Eight bound. Eight bound. I rolled an eight, so Corn wants it. I mean, you're not wrong entirely, mm. but I do have a four plus deny Ooh. for a CP. Yeah. And I've got lots of CP. Mm. Four plus deny, Joe. Yay, no smite. Aww. And then I needed you to do that because now I'm going to give a, a four up invulnerable save bubble. Which goes off. Okay. And then I don't I don't care about that. That's fine. I'm going to give the Terminators a feel no pain. Which unit, sir? The ones uh, behind Abaddon? The ones behind Abaddon. Cool, cool. Goes off. Perfect. And then shooting. Oh we're done. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, so six. Eight over there. So the Contempt Dreadnought, which I gave reroll all hits and wounds. From Abaddon. From Abaddon, is going to shoot your Dreadnought. My Dreadnought? Yeah. That's not very nice. Yeah. Straight line. That's not very nice at all. Yeah. Okay. So I'm hitting you on threes. With rerolls. With rerolls. Um, sixes explode. Because heavy. Oh, because you're in one ton destruction, I think it's called, yeah. isn't it? I don't get that. One miss. One, two, three, four, five. So they go into the pile. Yes, yes. And then I'm strength six. I'm wounding you on five. You are indeed. Um, but sixes do mortal wounds in addition. Okay. So. They're capped at six though, right? No. What? No, not on bulk height. I thought they were capped. Not on bulk height guns. Keep going. And then. Boom. So, it's that many saves on yeah. your three up, and how many mortal wounds are there? Six. Six mortal wounds. It's on three ups, is it? It's not, there's no AP? There's no AP. Oh, really? Oh, quite, okay, yeah. so three pluses. So, many go three, so he's going to die. Yeah. Isn't he? Does he explode? No. Yeah. Cool. Two blood tithe points. Yeah. <laughs> so, I have to put this little red token now on a two for blood tithe points. Yeah. I will have my vengeance! <laughs> To be honest, Joe, to be honest, right, I don't want to lose because I don't like losing. However, if you beat me and it's a pants pulling down, mm. I'm kind of okay with it, yeah. you know, after what's been going on lately. So my Hellbrute, not Hellbrute's dead. Yeah. A bit rude of you, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then the Dreadnought's here. Yep. It's going to heavy flamer these Berserkers. Might as well hit them in trees. I hit automatically. No, might as well hit. Strength five or six. So it's 2d6 shots for nine. 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 There's definitely threes to wound. Yeah, definitely threes to wound. You're right. And then maybe because I think I it's, it's minus one. I, I'll check because I know it's two damage. 
Check it for me. It might. The hell flavour is minus one. Minus one. Two so damage. one fails. What's well, so the one's going to die? Yeah. Do I want? To, which one was that one? The front one. The back one there. Do I want to blood surge? Blood surge, yo. Do I want to blood surge? You have to move towards me, though, don't you? I have to move towards, towards the more to move towards the nearest enemy unit. Mm. D six inches. Do Isn't I want to blood six, surge? No, it's D six. Oh. No, I'm not going to blood surge, Jay. Right. The other one's going to do it now. Okay. Just, just the two shots actually. I mean, it's okay. Both wound. If I roll two, two to threes like that, another one dies. Look. Yeah. Do I see now? I've got another one die. There we go. Because it's more blood ties soon. Two dead berserkers. Okay. So Gatling cannon and bolt pistols from Legionnaires smashed into the rhino, stripping a few more wounds off of that berserker base delivery system. And now Joe's thinking about firing five Black Legion Terminators into, I assume, these eight bound. Yeah. Since it's all you can really see. Yeah. So. Right. One. You are shooting through trees, so you have minus one to hit. Five. In fact, one guy isn't shooting through trees. All right, so he's hitting you on twos. Yeah, take him out, because he's not hit shooting through trees. There you go. And then he explodes twice. Yeah. Yes, because they're in all the one yeah. the Because Abaddon. is hit on threes, and they're re-rolling quans. Because Abaddon. Yeah. It's okay. The, the twos were massive. There was a few there. And then four sixes, which... Then puts so they only missed once. Actually, Basically, no, they gained a shot. Yes. Yeah. Uh, untapped is five, so it's five to wound me. Okay. So some wounds. Not a vast amount. No, but some oh. enough to kill a guy. Hey, it's that one guy. Three pluses. So I take two wounds. Abaddon's going to shoot him. Is he? Yeah. We're not going to explode with Abaddon. Strength five. So fours. Yeah. Minus uh, one. So fours. So that one guy dies. Hey, is that one guy? So uh, I'm going to take away. Uh, I don't think it makes a difference. This guy here. Yeah. And then the Gatling. I should have start. I should have done the Gatling cannon first. So then the Gatling cannon is going to shoot them. They're hitting on twos and re-rolling ones. The Gatling cannon that's shooting through the tree. Yeah. I was hitting on threes. Re yeah. Rolling ones. There yeah. We yeah. Go. But I still got three sixes. Yeah. It's going well for you, this, isn't it? I know. Dice Four. gods like you right now, Jay. My, Dice gods are happy right, with you. I always roll all right on these these pre-recorded ones. Another one dies. Bit of boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Another one bites the dust. Another one dies. There you go. The pre-recorded, I always roll all right. And then we go on stream. Toilet. Every time. <laughs> I'm a little bit happy for you right now, Jay. <laughs> I'm a little bit happy for you. I felt bad the last couple of weeks. These are stress relief. <laughs> Cool, okay. So, charges. Yes, sir. So, I'm going to charge Warp Talons into Berserkers. Okay. Seven inches. Seven, seven. Seven. And that is seven. So, I'll move those in a second. Uh, they're just over an inch away from the wall. So, you can't, you can't fit. You'd have to come around the side. Like that. Well, I said I, was, I said I was just over an inch away from the wall, Joe. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, it was still over an inch, but I could still fit my base in there. Right, okay. Because <laughs> that's how models fit into places. That's no, no, that's fine. So we'll do them. We'll do them in a minute. Um, then Abaddon's going to charge that one guy. Hey, it's that one guy. He's in. Yep. The Terminators will come with him. Minus two for the trees. Um, and they get plus one. Do they? Or four? Because they're in range of Abaddon. Oh, of course. Yeah, he gives that aura, doesn't he? Yeah. So he gets the rerolls. So he gives plus one to everything within. Yeah, so he'll go to there. And then, if we don't go through the trees, we go around the trees, that would be six. Yes, it would, yeah. And then in seven. Is that my phone? Yeah. Well, I hope it's not mine, it's in my hand. <laughs> That'd be weird. Yeah. It sounds like wood. Boop, boop. We're going to go a nice conga line. Look at that. Um, I'm tempted to put him into that unit of guys. It would be minus two. Because I'm on the train, yeah? Yeah. Right. Into the, oh, about this unit guy's here? Yeah. Okay. So it's a big old charge, but it's impunity. Like, you do it for free. Yeah. So you don't, there's no overwatch. It's set seven, so I'd need a nine. You would. That's popped. That's an eight. No. Uh, oh, no, you're not close enough to Abaddon. No. Because you're not going to get his core that gets plus one to charge, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah. And then he's he, he wouldn't be able to make it with the minus two. So they're going to stay there. Okay. That's fine. I can live with that. Right, cool. So, oh. how much CP have you got? 
You've five. Got enough, you've got enough to interrupt, haven't you? I've got enough to interrupt and fart on death, yes. Yeah. So I'm going to pile, I'm going to do the warp talons first. Well, this is, this is them doing their chart, finishing their charge move. And then we're going to pile in. Whoop. Like that. Okay. So we get five attacks. One CP? Yeah. Fight on death. Fight on death. Oh, also, I'll spend my two, at the end of the phase, I'll spend my two, um, my two blood tide points. Yeah. For uh, five up more, for no penny against mortal wounds. Um, so I'm hitting you on twos. You are. Because you charged it at me. And your Black Legion. Yeah. And. Force to wound. Force to wound me. With rerolls because they're lightning claws, yeah. essentially, right? Well, they are. But demonic lightning claws. I mean. That's not bad going, Joe. That's not bad. They're minus lots, right? Minus two? Minus two. Can you put those other two in my hand, pretty please? Thank so you. Fives. Five up saves. Ah! Okay, so. One, two. Three, four, pass. So one dies, two dies, three dies, four dies, five dies. So you wipe the unit. Five dies. Which means I can do all my attacks right now. Yes. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So I'll start with... I'm the... not bitter at all. By so because I can fight on death, I can just pile in, make yeah. sure everyone can fight like that, right? Okay. Oh, I get a blood tithe point as well. Let's put that back up there. Blood tithe point. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start off with my big swingy axe of doom and destruction. Makes sense. Four attacks base, yeah. but you charge me to get another one. Mm. Five attacks. Yeah. I would have set to defend because I'm in ruins. Mm. So twos. Cool. And then strength nine, so twos. Cool. So four so far. At minus more, you're on your invents. Yeah, fives. So two are dead. Two have perished. And then I get five attacks per guy for the other three. And then six for the sergeant, which is tasty. Like this. All of these then. Mm. Okay. Dice me, please, Joe. Joe, Joe, please, please. What I should have done, because what's your AP? Two. Two. I should have made them Iron Warriors for a turn. Oh, that was a four. So I hit you on twos because I set it to defend. Mm. Set it to defend. So I have some more. So I missed twice, basically, yeah. right? And I'm going to wound you on threes because I'm strength six. Oh, this was good, Joe. This is good. Mm. And they're all minus two, Joe. So you're on your five ups again. I mean, you didn't well badly. Die. Two dies. Three dies. Four. It's mutually assured destruction. Yes, I get another blood tithe point, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm back up to two blood tithe points. How many points is that unit? My berserkers yeah. are 120 points with the icon and the extra chain glaive. So they don't have the icon, so just 100 points. Mine's 140 points. So, I, so I, on that trade, I've made a 25-point profit. Yeah. It's okay, isn't it? But then Abaddon's going to attack that one guy. <laughs> hey, it's that one guy. So he gets deep. Well, hang on a minute, Joe. Because yeah. I might interrupt for two CP. Oh yeah. Oh no, I don't think I can actually. Why not? Because the uh, the interrupt stratagem it's states after, unit after an enemy unit has fought. Yeah. But I've just fought, mm. so I actually can't interrupt. Oh okay. So go for it. So I get eight attacks plus one for charging. You do indeed, yeah. I hit you on twos. You do. I don't explode. You don't. I wound you on twos. You do. Uh, yeah, your strength ten. Yeah. Yeah, so you do with Monty's. So there's that many. No more wins. No, uh, on your on your invent. All the fives. Oh, I mean, I tried. Try, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> but he's gonna die. Yeah. Okay, and he can't fight on death. No. Because I've already spent on the berserkers, which I feel like was a better choice. Mm. I was gonna interrupt with him, and the off chance because he's a flat three damage weapon. Mm. On the off chance, I could do three wounds to Abaddon because yeah. it starts the process of dropping him down. Mm. But um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the strat says after an enemy unit is four. So if I fight on death um, with the first unit, I can't use interrupt. But you're not fighting with a unit. It's a mod, the individual models within the fight on death case. No, it's still, so I've still fought with a unit though, didn't I? Yeah. Um, I don't know. We'd That's have, a hard one. We'd have to read the rules. The exact were... Technically, or, technically, or, technically, technically, we'd have to read the rules. <laughs> or I just save my 2 CP. Yeah. Fuck it. Like, he's not going to He's not gonna blow you away, is he? I mean, he would He would probably do three wounds to Abaddon. Mm. But I don't. I don't care enough. No. We'll just leave it as it is, Jay. Okay. End of your turn. Yes. So piling in and junk. Yeah. Because your terminators now basically get a six inch move. You go there. The terminators are going to go into this gap. Yeah. They get to they get to activate because they have successfully charged. So they can now pile in and consolidate as long as they are ending closer to enemy units than they started, mm -hmm. which is pretty easy if you're coming towards me no matter what, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Abaddon got his three inch move. You've done that. Mm -hmm. I will remove these berserkers. I gain another blood tithe point because you killed the eight bound. Yeah. 
Put them over here, like that in my corner. There we go. So, um, so I've killed the Dreadnought, the Berserkers. The eight bound. The eight bound. So I've done three, and you've killed one so far. So I only have to kill two to stop your grind. Yeah. No behind enemy limes. I'm going to get rid of that. And no assassinate yet. I want to keep hold of that. Yeah, let's I both feel, keep it. I feel like I'm contractually obliged to keep it. Let's now. both keep it. Yeah. Right, cool. Well, he is. Turn two. Mm. Coming up next. So Angron bellowed out his orders once more. We have to defend our stronghold as the Black Legion advance on us. We also have to grind on you. Yeah. And I've kept assassinate. I'm not getting rid of that. I need to kill a character. I've also decided this is quite hard because you have FaZe, Kappa, and um, Abaddon on the, on the table. Yeah. Which is a problem for me. And then I thought about objectives and doing objective things and I thought, no. We're no. world eaters. That's silly. Rules are silly. So I raised that objective and got rid of it. Nice. Makes get rid of it. Yeah. Screw this objective game. Get rid of all the objectives. Nice. Okay. Um, over here, uh, the oh, I haven't I haven't driven this tank forward onto this like this. Sorry, sorry, Jay. Sorry. There we go. Tank drove forward after Berserkers got out to charge Legionnaires. Terminators dropped on objective because I just want to burn it next turn. Basically, just get rid of all the objectives and just fight over. Blood and yeah. stuff and junk. Blood and stuff. Over here, these three Terminators. So Lord and Vicarus, Terminators, Berserkers. Lord and Vicarus pushed forward, got it within six inches. They then got a six inch move because they're minus two for moving through trees. And I could touch the objective and be out of heroic intervention range for Abaddon. So that means at the moment you're only going to score the one objective for the five points. Yeah. Right? Okay. Uh, then these eight bound leapt out of that ruin. And so did Khan leap out of that rhino, which backed up to block the way to my stronghold at the home over here. And that means that we're hoping that Khan will charge wildly into the uh, Terminators as well as the 8-bound keeping out of her range of Abaddon because it's a problem yeah. and killed Terminators. Meanwhile, Angron gave himself full re-rolls and turned on Don't Fall Back because everyone tells me that's the best one and leapt over the trees here. He's going to charge two Decimators. Makes okay. Yeah. Well, that, what that means is if I, do, if I don't kill them both, you can't fall back. Yeah. But so far, not killing things hasn't been his problem. No. He's right. been all right with that. Yeah, he's been pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty much it, Jay. Yeah. It's just being hyper-aggressive. Mm. I've got some guns and junk, though. Yeah. I don't have my Dreadnought anymore because you rudely killed it. Sad times. Sad times. I have got a combi bolter over here. Yeah. Which will shoot at some Legionnaires. Pew, 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 pew. I hit you four times. Nice. Pew, 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 pew. I wound you. Oh, wow. Oh, I wound you four times, Jay. Pew, pew. Oh. I say all four times. Okay. We're going to do the same here into Abby the Dom. Pew, 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 pew. I hit you three times, Jay. Five. Pew, 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 pew. I, I wound you twice, Jay. If you could fail both of these, it'd be great. No. I mean, that's a. Anticlimax. Yeah. Khan has to shoot Terminators because Khan, uh, Abaddon's character protected. Yeah. I hit you on twos. Cool. I am strength eight, so I win you on twos. Boop. I win you because they're not black moon or anything, right? Two damage. Two damage. Good two. man. So one's taken two wounds already. That's a good start for me. I'm okay with that. That is, however, the extent of my shooting. Oh no, I have some stuff over here to do. So we got some pistols and junk. So I'm going to throw a pistol. I'm going to shoot two pistols and throw a crack grenade into the Terminators. Yeah. So two pistols from the guys with the one-handed weapons. One hits, one misses, and then wounds the Terminator. Minus nothing. Two up safe. Cool. And then a crack grenade will hit you on a three. I wound you on a three. I wound you with my crack grenade minus one. Oh, take D three kills that Terminator. So it'll be D three damage for one. Unless you roll a five up, right. kill the Terminator. Ah, that's good, isn't it? Cool. Okay. That's my shooting done, Jay. Yes. So, charging turns. We're going to start off with Angry Ron into Decimators. Yeah. He's an Angry Ron. He is in. He touches both of them in their dark places. Berserkers into Legionnaires. I'm tempted to Overwatch, you know. Okay. I mean, I make it with a big 11. Yeah. I'm going to Overwatch. If I can kill one, that's something. Isn't okay. It? Yeah. So, I'll move them in a moment. But let's so, do the Overwatch. A crack grenade. Huh. Misses. Misses the Gatling Cannon. He'll be fine, won't he? Just the one here, actually. It's a wound. It is one a wound. Four. And it's a four plus armor save. Oh, I'll take a wound. And then... Three, three pistols? Three bolt pistols. One hit. You can kill a guy. Oh, no wound. Okay, perfect. Uh, right, so I will move them. I've got an 11-inch charge. I'll come around and move them in just a minute, Joe. All right? Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to charge in eight bound into Terminators. Now you've overwatched. A five-inch charge. I'll get away from Abaddon with that. That's perfect. And then Khan will go in with a four-inch charge. Right, I'll do some moving and stuff and things in a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's all my charging. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm done. Cool. Okay, I thought about lots, Joe. Yeah. I feel like I want to swing with that Khan first, but I'm mildly concerned that one of those dreadnoughts, if you get super lucky, and so far today that has been the case, mm. will then basically murder Angron. Yeah. That's a problem for me. I hope so. So I feel like... I'm just going to swing with Angron first because that's the cool thing to do. Yeah. So it's not a competitive thing to do, but we're playing Tempest. Yeah. It's a cool thing. 
Let's do that. If you want, yeah. All right. So six attacks into the back dreadnought, seven attacks into the front dreadnought. I'll put minus one damage, for what it's worth, on the back dreadnought. The okay. Six attacks. So let's go for the one that's not minus one damage. Seven yeah. attacks, hitting you on twos, and I reroll all my hits because I give myself four rerolls. Yep. So I hit you all of the times. Yes. Strength 15. Twos. Oh, that's a problem. Mm. So just the four, actually. Just the four. Now, they're all minus lots. So I've got four up in vulnerable save. Four up? From the Master of Possession. Is that on core? There's, no, it's on the demon unit. On a demon... Oh, is it? Yeah. That's oh. why I kept on saying it's got a four up in vulnerable save. Hang on. You got lucky there. D3 plus three. For just the six damage. Cursed Earth. Demon kin and demon engine models in that unit... Because it's because it's a um, while well, a friendly. No, it's fine. I believe you. Yeah. yeah, I believe you. It's fine. I trust you. So how much you damage you taking? Six. Six damage. He's down to six. But it's okay because the other guy will just get murdered on twos with re rolls, and then twos. Oh my! The wound rolls are really murdering me. Where wildy is nowadays. CP re roll. Five here, Joe. On your four plus. Five four pluses. You won't do the same again, surely. Oh, you did. Yeah. I told you, you've got lucky today. <laughs> so this is... D6 plus 2 for just 3 damage. D3 plus 2, sorry. So 3 so damage on that one. D3 plus 3 damage normally, isn't it? Yeah, so I, I change it to plus 2 because yeah. you're minus 1 damage. So it takes 3 damage. So 3 damage. So that was the worst Angron's whiff since I've had him. So he's down to 9. Mm -hmm. That could be a problem for Angron right now. Yes. Um, I'm going to interrupt with the Terminators. Okay. What are you hitting? Khan or the 8-bound? <laughs> Two can hit Khan. Three, all four can hit the eight bound. Mm. I might put all four into the eight bound. Okay. Sure. No, but I'm going to do it anyway. Cool. Two CP fight on death. It's your favourite strat. Isn't it three CP? Two CP for eight bound, one oh. CP for troop cores. Two. You made it three CP when you did a Vect on it the other night. Yeah. That wasn't very four. nice. No, it wasn't fight death, you did actually. You did the Heracle Intervene one, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. So I got this many attacks. Yeah. Um, so I'm down to three CP. No, I'm not. No, I get a free interrupt. I don't have to pay for it. You don't have to pay for it, no, because no. they're Mark of Snash. I told you to give them Mark of Snash ages ago. Yeah. You weren't listening to me. I don't. Look how good that is. Sorry, again. Um, do I spend two CP plus one to wound? I might as well do. So I'll stay on three. I'll spend the two CP anyway, so... Um, I'm hitting you on threes. You are. I'm re-rolling ones for Abby the Don. You are. Oh, I'm just going to take these twos out of the way for you. There you go. Cool. And now I'm wounding you on threes. Because you're toughness five, aren't you? I am toughness five, mate, yeah. I mean, that was good, wasn't it? There we go, that paid off. Your accursed weapons are minus three. So I'm on my five up in vulnerables. Yep. Whoop. So they pass. So one dies, they all die. Yeah. They all die again. <sighs> I'm going to spend two CP. Nice. To go to plus one damage. I like it. Because I'm fighting on death. So my champion has a base of five attacks. Yeah. Plus one for charging, which is six attacks. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hit you on threes. Yes. That's correct. That is correct. I rolled two twos. Two two. I am strength good. Two. I wound you on twos with this guy, I think. I think yeah. he's strength... It's normally plus two, which puts you on seven, but you charge, so eight. So we did you three of the times. These are all minus a lot to put you on your five up in vans. And they're all four damage each. So the first one is a lie over the wound. And then... Second one, now kills him. Kills him. Third one, so one guy's dead so far. He's live with the wound. Can you stop these five pluses, please? This is silly. And then... Another four. He's so he dies. So, so kill two, two Terminators. Kill two. But it's okay because the other two guys have got seven attacks each because I charged. Mm. So it's 14 attacks now from eight bound. This fight on Death Strat's ridiculous, Joe. It is it's dumb, isn't it? Because <laughs> the thing is, though, it's such, it's such a CP efficient army as Threes. well. Threes. No rerolls. And then strength is like seven, so threes. Reroll ones from Khan. Cool. So there's that many. That fives. They're also on your fives. These are three damage each. Oh, Ugh. dear. So that's six, isn't it? Six. So the first one. These are three damage each, not four damage. Oh. 
I'll, I'll... I assume he'll dead. You sure? I mean, I'll, I'll let you take the five up save if you want. Are you sure? Yeah, honestly. Because I still think they're going to die. And then, so the second one... Now kills dead. him. And there's one guy left. He's alive with the wound. And there's still three more sets of threes to get him dead. There we go, he's dead. Okay. So I'll take that trade. So that does give me another two blood tithe points. Put me on five, which is super tasty. Okay, right, cool. So, I will now activate Khan. So these guys will pile in... Well, they're dead, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they are. Of course they are. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> it's weird thinking about it that way. So Khan will activate. He'll pile in three and tag that dreadnought. Yeah. Okay, all right, cool. Over here, it's time for Berserkers to fight Legionnaires. Yeah? Yes. Champion. Hits you on something. Threes. That's the one. Cool. Uh, wounds you on twos. Three of the wounds at minus something. I think it's four. I think it's four, they're dead. I need to check. I need to check, Jay, just because it might not be. Well, I'll roll three dice. We checked. It was AP minus four. We swung with the rest of the Berserkers. Guess what? Legionnaires died very quickly. Dead, many deaths. Many deaths, big wow. Okay, cool. What's interesting is I've now killed three units, so I would have matched Joe's grind, but because he interrupted with the Terminators and managed to kill the eight bound, you're still going to get your grind right now, oh, which yeah. is very good, and I can't stop it. So I'm going to swing with the Decimator that's got five, six wounds left. Yep, so he's half profile. So he is hitting you on fours. Yes. Just the one hit, actually. I am wounding you on a two, though. You do wound me. Wound. I have a four plus hidden vulnerable. Yay! Okay, and another one. This guy's hitting you on threes. He is. Twos. Okay. And then... Twos. So uh, three wounds. Uh, so I'll roll these on four plus invulnerables. Way. Just the three damage. Just the three damage. Okay. I'm actually okay with that. Yeah. That was. I was very concerned. Mm. Like I thought Angron was dead. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, and then I get. I get. I get four attacks onto Khan. I hit you one. <laughs> I don't wound you. Okay. Good cool. times. Right. Thank carry on. <laughs> yeah. Right, so that's the end of the world eaters' turn. Mm. Right, start to defend my stronghold. My grind is at two. Yeah. So you're going to have to beat two. I don't feel like that's going to be a problem for you. No. Assassinate's still not there yet. No. I get my grind because I killed three units. But then you get another one. You've got four units. Yeah. Because you've got the eight bounce. So you get five points on grind. Yeah. Beautiful. And we're going to move into uh, Black Legion, turn two. Nice. Hey, we could have an early dinner at this rate if we, we carry on. Actually, Let's do it. Nice, yeah. So it's the end of the movement phase for the Black Legion. Yeah. Further orders from the War Master. Blood and guts, assassination, no prisoners. Slaughter everything, essentially. Yeah. Leave nothing alive. Don't allow this demon Primarch to gain any kind of momentum. Simple as that, Joe? Simples. Simples. Simples, actually. I'm gonna... That's the proposal you can go with his, his inch, basically. Okay, cool. So Abaddon moved in on these berserkers here. Yeah. The Terminators have turned to face some... Uh, Berserker's there, and the Demon Prince and the Psyker are looking at Khan there. Yeah. Pretty simple. Simples. You didn't fall back out of combat with your two decimators. Oh, I can't. Oh, it actually came into effect once. Once. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So, right. Psyker phase. Yeah. That one guy over there, yep. he's going to smite you. Okay. And that goes off. Yep, D3. D3 on Khan. Cool, two. two. I've got four left. You've got five up, feel no pain. I have got five up, feel no pain, actually. You're right. Oh, I've still got four left. Four left, right. The, uh, the other banner will also yeah. smite him. He's a six. Fails. Oh, fails. Sad times. Um, the Demon Prince. Yep. The Prince of Demons. Is, actually, no, we'll come back to him. This guy here yeah. is going to give a five up, feel no pain. Two. To the Terminators. Yep. And that goes off. Yep. And then he's going to smite. Okay. go off on Khan. Yep. He gets it. Gets it. Because you used a seven and you got a seven. G three. Just the one, actually. Just the one. So five up for the pain. Whoop. Nope. I'm down to three. And then the demon prince. Prince of gonna, demons. Is going to death hex Angron. Okay. And that goes off. Okay. He's got no invulnerable save. That's fine. Yeah. So you got a two up armor save. Yes. Yeah. So he goes to five up in combat mode. I mean, it's fine. Joe. Mm. I'm okay with that. Yeah. And then into shooting. Yep. So the redemp the contemptor is going to shoot into Khan. He's going to shoot Khan. They're not blast weapons, are they, Volkite? No. Good. Okay. So I'm hitting you on threes. Cause yes. Minus one because it's heavy, but then I get plus one because you're the nearest unit. Yes. And I reroll ones because I've got a demon prince nearby. Prince of demons. There you go. Strength is six. Six. Yeah. So five. Uh, threes even. Threes. Oh, oh dear, my. Joe. That is not good. I mean, so it's enough. That's one mortal wound. And so two. I get a five up against one mortal wound. Cool. So five up really paid off for me so far. Yeah. I then get. Th so I've got two wounds left. 
I've then got AP minus. Nothing, but it is two damage. So there's three up saves, I think. Unless they put Khan on two ups, which I don't think they did. And I pass oh, all of them. Look so Khan lives the two wins remaining. Then I'm going to fire both Dreadnoughts into Angry Ron. Yep, cool. Um, so it's 4d6 flamer shots. Oh, that was toilet. <laughs> <laughs> And then fives. Yes. Well, cool. Better. So AP one. AP one. Someone three up saves. Yeah. Cool. Pass both. Ugh. Abaddon is going to shoot the berserkers. Yep. Uh, Reroll that. It explodes because we're in the shooty bonton uh, threes. Did you remind the one? Remember the minus one for me being in top combat in the in the? But you get a plus one anyway because I'm nearest. You're yeah. fine. Don't worry about it. You're on twos again. Threes. Minus one Minus for Abaddon, yep. so four pluses, whoop. One dice. One dice. Okay. Two, three, four. Terminators? Five Terminators. Hitting on twos, that is a two. You are. I've rolled two sixes. Good man. Four, sir. Oh, that was good. Yeah. That was really good. Okay. And then threes, because no minus. But it's okay, because power armor is the, is strong armor, right? And I can't just die to bolt gun shots from power armor. Oh, wait. So one, two, and a half die. Cool. Okay. I'm assuming... The just take these two here. Yeah. Oop, you can't see me chat, because I did that. Oh, there we go. Say chat, though. I keep talking on the chat. There you go. Two more berserkers dead. Right, sweet. Um, Done shooting, Jay. Yeah, so charge phase. Yep. So the uh, demon prince... Prince of demons. ...is going to charge into... Khan. Cool. Yeah, he's in. He's in. And then, obviously, Abaddon's going to charge into those Berserkers. Yep, he's in. He's in. Like so. Uh, these Terminators are going to charge into them. Yep. Okay. They're in. And that's it. Okay. Nice. So, I'll go with... The Demon Prince? Or oh, actually, no, we'll go. Can they get plus one damage as well? Uh, no. Only eight bound or terminators. Only eight bound. All right then. How many attacks does Khan have? You've charged me. Ten. Ten. I would so okay right. I don't I'd probably want to, go against Khan. I don't want yeah. I was gonna yeah. say I don't want to tell you to do this because I want you to not do yeah. this. If you go against if you don't go against Khan, I yeah. will spend two speed to drop with Khan because yeah. he'll kill your Demon Prince. Yeah. So twos and th strength six uh, uh, twos. Your strength eight, yeah. Yeah. On your inbun. Uh, so these are four pluses. Yeah. <laughs> not a good start. Damage three. Oh, I mean, it's not. It's pointless now. Yeah, he's going to die. No, man, I'm going to be calm dice. Otherwise, calm picks up Demon Prince yeah. pretty easily. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, next. Uh, Abaddon. Uh, am I going to interrupt anywhere? No, it's pointless. So, nine attacks from Abaddon. Yep. We want the ones. Twos. So, that's nine saves at minus four. Oh, Khan, hang on a minute. I've got some things to do with Khan in a minute. Nine saves at minus four. I don't know why I rolled them. Yeah. And then two six up. Some more, some more wins. A D3 more wins each, right? Yeah. So two D... I'm not going to bother with my Phil No Paints. <laughs> I'll do my Phil... How many damage was it into Khan? Three each. Is that right? For the two failed saves? Yeah. So I do have six up Phil No Paints. I mean, he tried. He tried. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not going to bother with that with the Berserkers because there's just so much damage coming through I'm not going to survive. Mm. So they're going to die as well, which gives me another three blood tithe points. Put me on five. Thank you, Jay. Because right. I did spend some. You, I think I did this off camera. Actually. I did spend some um, some blood tithe points to gain uh, six up for no pain because I knew it was going into his turn. It was going to hurt. Right. I will spend one CP for these berserkers to fight on death on the off chance I could pick up a couple of terminators. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. We're down to one CP. So twos. Yes. Because right. I feel like they're not long for this world. These these berserkers. Right. <laughs> Threes. I mean, that's uh, not bad. Three. Oh, there might, okay, so sixes, followed by sixes. So two pass, followed by sixes. One pass. So they're going to all die. Mm. But I get to fight on death. You do. Okay. So champion. Yeah. 
Uh, not champion, sorry. Big big Mr. Axe Man with the two damage gun. Yeah. Uh, weapon. Axe. Sword. Yeah. Spiky thing. Spiky thing. Threes. Cool. Uh, strength nine twos. Three. Minus four. Five ups. Two damage each. Two damage each. Fives. So one dice. One dice. Okay, I'm, I'm already happy with that. Yeah. I already feel like that was worth the one CP to kill a Terminator. Now the champion and the other duder hitting on threes. Oh, the dice gods have changed. I've switched yeah. on us today, Joe, haven't they? Threes. Oh, they've really switched on us, Joe. Minus two. Fours. Yeah. And then five up for no pains. So you take one more damage. Yeah. I was still okay that I killed a single Terminator. But that's all the charging units fought, yeah? Yeah. So Angron gets to fight. Yeah. Cool. I still have all of my attacks. Still has all of them, does he? Well, I have all my base attacks. I don't have the uh, charging bonus. No. So I have 12 attacks in total, mm. okay? So, one's got six. Which one's got six? This one's got six. And they've only got five up in Venerables now. Yeah, because I did um, damage and then smite, didn't I? So yeah, so he's got nine. He's got six. Do I just go six oh, and no. six? He's got, he's got seven, because we're demon engines, aren't we? Yeah, we gain a win back. I'm just going to go six and six, Joe. It keeps it simple. Hang on. Okay. So he's got seven. Seven. He's got... So he had nine, so he's up to ten now. Yeah. But I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go half and half now. It's just simpler. Yeah. Okay. So what? the one on seven. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do minus one damage. On that lad there. So one on seven. Yeah. Twos with re rolls. I hit with everything. Nice. Twos. Fucking every time. Four. Five ups. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do this. What's going on with you? So this is the guy without minus one damage though. Yeah. So he'll die. He's dead. Does so he's he very dead. Die? No, thank God for that. The way you're rolling, I wouldn't be surprised. Right, okay. So the other guy is also going to take six of the finest attacks. Mm. So twos with re-rolls, because I'm in range of myself. Mm. I gave myself re-rolls. And then twos. This will be all of them this time. Good, okay. Thankfully. So six, Joe. Six. At five up in vulnerable saves. Mm. Knowing you, you'll pass five. Oh, so even if... So that's 15 damage before I roll yeah, the damage. He's, he's dead. Does he explode? No. So it's three more blood tithe points. One for killing each of the units, which puts me on eight blood tithe points, and then one because one of them was a vehicle. Yeah. Okay. Okay, right. Right. So at the end of your turn, Joe, you kill Khan. So I get I get assassinate. You oh, get... oh, by the way, these are my secondaries. Secondaries for you. Oh yeah, no, I, I did read blood, it out. Blood and guts assassinate. So I get assassination. Because you kill Khan. Blood and guts. Kill three things in melee. You kill the berserkers, you kill the uh, Khan, and you kill the, the uh, other berserkers. Well, so you get blood and guts. Did, that, was that in melee, or is that... Yes, yeah, blood and guts is melee. Why well, didn't kill Khan? Oh, I did kill Khan. Yeah, it's all melee, Jay. It's all melee. And then no prisoners. So we've got six wounds there. Six wounds here for 12. Yeah. Six wounds for Khan is 18 so mm. far. So just 12 to go. Just a 12, actually. Yeah. It's not bad. You did all right there, mate. I'm not. It's not bad. I would have been quite happy with that if I was you. I'm sad that my decimated. Interestingly, I didn't get. I did get grind. Yeah. Because although I only killed two units in your turn, I then killed two units in my turn, hmm. and you killed one, two, three, four. So actually, I drew drew. Hmm. Is that right? Because you killed one in so my in your, turn. In your turn. You killed a unit. I killed a unit of eight bound. So yeah, so it's four. So I actually don't get grind. And it automatically discards. Still waiting on assassinate. I did defend my stronghold though, because Lord Invocatus is back here. So I did defend my stronghold. So I'll get five points there. It's not looking great for World Eaters scoring as we move into World Eaters. Turn three. Turn three. Okay, it's tight. It's tough. It's hard, Joe. Yeah. So I held one and two, yeah. but you held one and two because Abaddon's in the middle. Mm. So uh, I only got five points on the, on the primary. Yeah. However, Angron bellowed, continued to try and slaughter characters, capture enemy outposts and raise a banner. Yeah. So I have a unit of Terminators raising a banner. Yeah. Because it's the only objective I hold in No Man's Land because <laughs> I burned the other one before. And Lord Invocatus is stuck at the back. He's just tending to his stable. Yeah. Looking after his little unicorn horse. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what we did is Angron after slaughtering... The thingy majiggers and piling in three then flew this way. He can make a multi charge. My um, champion with the choppy axe, what's he called? Master Executions, yeah. disembarked to try and fight a demon prince, and the rhino parked upon the objective to contest it, but stayed out of heroic intervention range of Abaddon. Yeah. It's important. Eight bound move through rear at terrain to come here. Cool. Done. Shooting. Yeah. I'm not even bothering, Joe. It's pointless. No one cares about shooting. Strong bothers. Charging! Yes. Angron is going to multi-charge the Psyker, the Dreadnought, and the Legionnaires, because I can make all three. Yeah? I need like a three. 
cool. I got a seven. He's in. He's in. The choppy champion, choppy choppy McChop face. Yeah. Will charge a demon prince on a four. He's in. Yeah. And then these ones, they also need a four to get to that single legionnaire. Nice. <laughs> They're in. They're in. <laughs> I've moved them now. So Angron has tied up your librarian, not a librarian, what's he called? Master of Possession. Master of Possession. And your Dreadnought. Yeah. And your Legionnaires. Yeah. The eight bound have charged the other Legionnaires. Yeah. And then the uh, Master of Executions has charged the Demon Prince. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I'm really worried about you fight me back with is that Demon Prince. Yeah. So my Master of Executions is going to go first. Okay. Nice. Right. I should mention also, Angron, reroll... No, plus one attack was what I, what I picked. Yeah. Um, no, it wasn't. It was reroll ones. So I'll explain why yeah. in a moment. Uh, and he gave rerolls to himself. Nice. Right. So, Master's Execution hits on twos. He does hit on twos. Eight. He's strength something, yes. He's wounding me on threes, isn't he? Yeah. I'm going to spend a CP. Okay. Boop. Down to two. So, to Transhuman Demon Prince. Which is Mark of Nurgle, right? Yeah, yeah cool. Okay. So, uh, and the reason why... Okay, so the reason why I went for the reroll ones, or... Mm -hmm. Is because the plus one attack aura is actually only core units within six. Yeah. So it wouldn't have benefited the master executions. The real ones aura does benefit the master executions. Yeah. Is it all world eaters or is it all units? Like, so so like um, so reroll ones. Reroll ones. I had pointed out to me in YouTube comments recently is. Uh, another friendly world eaters unit within six. Mm. So it's all world eaters units within six for reroll ones, yeah. not including Angron himself. Okay. okay? Yeah. The plus one attack is all world eaters core units. Yeah. And then the fallback is everything. Nice. Okay. So seven attacks into Demon Prince. Yeah. Three sixes here would be lovely. Mm. No sixes. But three ones. But it's okay, Joe, because I can reroll those because of Angron. Yeah. Brilliant. So his ability. Doesn't. You didn't go for the extra attack then? No, I went for no, real ones because no, I, I can't get extra attack. It's that not caught. Yeah. 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 So I got no sixes. Yeah. Great. Fours. Right, this has gone well. So two, four plus invulnerable saves. I mean, you got some mileage out of that transhuman there, right? Oh, no. <laughs> four plus. Pass fail. Damage two? Damage two. I take two damage. Okay. I'm down to something. I'm so, so, so glad. That that really works. Yeah. This master of execution for 65 points. I know. My master of possession gets to go now. Because he's Marcus Sinesh. He's Marcus Sinesh. And he's going to bonk you with his bonking stick. I'm not rolling very well today, Joe. Even when I'm just rolling for the sake of rolling, it's pretty terrible. Sorcerer. Chaos Lord. Master of possession. Why don't they just put these in order? It makes no sense how they put it in. I get five attacks, don't you know? I do. Five attacks. I hit you on twos. You do. The sixes explode. You do? Because about round three, you've yeah. gone into melee one pom. Yeah, yep. I am strength for five, six, seven. Seven. You're not a psyker, are you? So you win me on fours. Mm. Three wins. AP? AP one, but they are D3 damage. Oh, you failed one. You failed one? Yep. Two damage. Two damage, okay. Right, so I've now lost uh, five wounds off of Angron. Angron's now going to fight. Joe, how many wounds does your Master of Executions have? Not your Master of Executions, your Master of Possession have? Five. Does he have an invulnerable save? Five plus invulnerable save. Does he? Okay. Yeah. How many wounds does your Contender Dreadnought have? Nine. Nine, 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 nine. Okay, so, right. So I have 12 attacks. So that standard. also has an invulnerable save. I get a plus one attack for charging, so I'm on 13 attacks. I now need to think about how I'm going to allocate. Right, there's lots of thinking. Yeah. Two into the master possession to try and get um, kill yeah. character. Yeah. But he's not as much of a problem with me as the rest of the stuff. Five into the contemptor because I need to get him off the objective. And then I'm going to get six of my attacks and trade them in for three attack for every attack yeah. into the thingy majigger. Yeah. The what's him call it? Mm. The doobery yeah, Because unlike a knight, he can split his attacks over different. He days. can, yes. So into the mark, we'll start with the smallest and we'll grow, we'll go upwards. So into the master executions, hitting you on twos. And I reroll because I'm in range of myself. I've hit yeah. you twice. No sixes, so no auto wounds, but I do wound you on twos. I have wounded you twice. You have two five plus one. Well, I roll two five now. You probably will, knowing you at the moment. I mean, you did roll one. Just the one five. So I just need to roll a five plus, and he's dead. Yeah. That's a one, Joe. He That's... takes four wounds. <laughs> so he takes a giant swing from Angron and doesn't die. Mm. Mm. Problem. Contemptor twos with re rerolls. So so far, I paid five of my blood tithe points for sixes to hit auto wound, and I'm not rolled a single six. <laughs> I do, however, wound you on twos. Yeah. So I have wounded you five of the times. And then I just have to roll five pluses. Five pluses again, Joe. Just roll four of them. This is what you've been doing lately. Oh, he's very so dead. He's gonna die. Does he's he gonna explode? die. Does he explode? 
No, okay. And then I have 18 attacks into the individual troopy things. So these are only one damage each, though, aren't they? They are only one damage each, yeah. I can't do my dice, Joe. I need you, Joe. Joe, I need you. I need you to put things in my hand. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I hit you on twos with the rerolls. Which you don't need. So there's three auto wounds. Yeah. Already. No, they're not auto wounds. I lied. They're exploding sixes. That's what I gave. They're not more, because auto wounds is six, six of the blood tide points. Okay, cool. So, I'm so glad I put rerolls on myself when I missed with nothing. But you're strength eight, though, aren't you? Nine. Nine. So, so wounds and twos. And these are AP minus three. So, six up saves. I think I... they're AP minus three. Yes, six up saves. I don't see them living. No. But you never know the way you're rolling. Oh, they're dead. They're they are dead. dead. So, I'm going to take your home objective back off of you. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. For capture enemy outposts. And I'll take this pile in and consolidate with these guys and then... Yeah, so they'll kick the snot out of that one banner man. So they'll go, boop, boop, murder him. Yeah, and, and then go, boop, and get in the range of anger. And that's right, exactly that, yeah. Perfect. So I killed a vehicle for two blood tithe, put me on five. I killed another unit for a blood tithe, put me on six. I killed another unit for a blood tithe, put me on seven blood tithe points. Yeah. Beautiful, good old so anger. I can swing back now. With my demon prince, prince of demons. Into your master's execution. This is a problem for me. Yeah. Misses, but then explodes. <sighs> Twos. Oh, 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 you did a me. I did a you. You did a me, Joe. <laughs> That's annoying. I'm not going to reroll it. AP? That's three. I fail my save. Unless I have a two up armor save. No. Okay. Three damage? Three damage. Six up for no pains. I take two damage. Three. I've got some left. Ugh. I don't know what I've got left. Uh, three. I think it's three, yes. I've got three wounds left. Mm. So that was a very much successful from the World Eaters in that regard. Yeah. We don't kill a character. No. Because of your master of possessions. We did capture the enemy outpost. We did raise a banner. Ten of the finest points. Nice. Um, I've Perfect. still got no prisoners. You do still have no prisoners. I pull Battlefield Supremacy. Hold three, hold more. That's not, might not. It's probably not going to happen. Attempting target. Pick one in no man's land and hold oh. it. Yeah. No retreat, no surrender. Brilliant. But you've still got no prisoners, so you don't need that last one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At least I know what I'm going to You know what's coming next, Joe? Right. <laughs> As we move into Black Legion turn three. Yeah. And you hold just the one, actually. Just the one. But I can't five stop it, so points. five points. So we saw the orders from Abaddon, and he's gone chasing a demon Primarch mm. along with his Terminators. Very little in the way of movement. Everyone's going at Angron. Yeah. Simple as that, right? Simple. Cool. So psychic phase. Uh, the dark, um, the master possession is going to heal that unit and bring a model back. It goes off. Yep. Uh, do I care about stopping it? No, I don't care about stopping it. Have you Terminator back, Joe? I know how much you like Terminators. And then he's going to give them a five plus four no pain. Goes off. Okay. And then the Demon Prince. Prince of Demons. How many wounds is that? Three. You can smite Three. out. I can smite. If you get lucky. Or I can just turn off Angron's invulnerable save. Which will do that. And that turns off his invulnerable so save. So I'll spend a CP. Yeah. For what's called Scorn of Sorcery. Yeah. And on a four plus. I stop oh, it. There we go. And then the shooting phase. Yes. Uh, Abaddon's going to shoot the... Um, guy eight bound. Eight bound. Cool, cool. Reroll. And then fours. Rerolling. So that's three at minus one. I've never understood rerolling to wound as a narrative thing. Rerolling to hit, I kind of get. Take a second shot quickly. Yeah. It's like snapshot. Rerolling to wound doesn't kind of make any sense. Not really on guns, though. Oh, I've, if it's a really big I failed gun. to actually hit him in the heart. I'm just going to move the bullet. Oh, no, I've done it. It's just lots of bullets he's firing, isn't it? Uh, so, fail two. Two damage each. Two damage each. One, One dice. Dead. Cool, 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 cool. Three. What are these going into? Four. Five. I'm going to shoot. Those are guys as well. Through angle? Through angle. We can still see you. <laughs> Some of the good old days when you can't shoot past combat. I don't think you should be able to shoot past combat. No one mentioned that. Yeah. No one mentioned that. Joe's just getting angry. She's throwing my phone everywhere. Yeah. So, reroll ones. Yep. Take the twos out. I, I like the fact that you walked over and measured it. I would have never questioned it. Yeah. Just let you reroll the ones. I was, wasn't entirely sure. And then... Oh, fine. Fives. Fumpins. 
because I'm toughness five. Yeah. I mean, it's enough to kill another one. This is just flat three up there, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, cool. I mean, I took a wound. Two wounds. Okay. So, one, so the guy, the non big swingy chainsaw sergeant guy has two wounds now. Yeah. Cool. And then we're going to do some charges. Yep. Terminate is into Angry Ron. He's in. And then Abaddon into Angry Ron. Yep. He is in as well. Yeah. So I turn off your Terminator's obsec because your Terminator's got obsec, right? No. No. Okay. No. And then he charges in. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. okay. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. Lovely. How many wounds does Angry Ron have? You've taken five off of him, so he's mm. got 13 left. Well, I might as well just do Amberdon then. I mean, okay. Might, might as well do I can't interrupt Jay, so. Yeah. No. You can't? No. Okay. No. So, Abaddon gets eight attacks, plus one for charging. Yep. I hit you on twos. You do. Sixes explode. They do. Oh. What did you roll those two for? Well, they already hit, didn't they? Oh, they were re-rolls. Of they course, they're re-rolls, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so that's Get your six back in. I wound you on threes. threes. Mm -hmm. With re-rolls. With re-rolls. Okay. Oh. So that's five invulnerable saves. So five four pluses. Yeah. And I fail all but one. I pass, sorry, all but one. Yeah, so that's three damage. So it's three damage on six ups and yeah. 2d3 mortal wounds. Yeah, so 2d3 mortal wounds. Which is another four. four. So I'll do the, the normal damage, which is six ups. Yeah. Because I do that first. I take three, put me down to ten. Yeah. I do the mortal wounds on five pluses. And I pass two, puts me down to eight left. <laughs> one, one, two. Terminators. Terminators. Because you get to fight before me. Yeah. Sergeant. Because you charged. Um, and I couldn't interrupt. Because I spent my CP to stop your stupid yeah. turn off in buns, which actually just proved really fucking helpful. So I'd well, rather have that. Yeah. Yeah, because he'd be dead. Yeah, I'll 100% he'd be dead. Uh, so twos. Indeed. We roll ones because Abby the Dom. Oh, I re rolled one earlier. So oh, I mate, I don't, I don't. That's not a problem. It landed on a two. I'm okay with it. And then, oh, that was a hit. So and there's some one, sixes. two, three, four, five, six. So four extra hits in total. That's yeah. tasty. I, I love wontons. I wish I had them for one years. Just. I don't have enough attacks, Joe. I want wontons. Five, isn't it, now? Yes, sir. That was not good. It's not good, actually. We'll count that one as a five. <laughs> not that I'm I should have done plus one to wound. And then that only would have got me... So I so I can't die. No. So four plus invulnerables because you're cursed weapons. Mm. So I take two and then six up for no pains because they're one damage, right? Mm. So I'm down to four. Le I'm down to four left, Jay. Yes. Which will make you a little bit happy at least. Mm. Yeah. Let's go my bottom profile. So who would you like to swing with now? Master executions. Yeah. Well, might as well, right? Yeah. So he has six attacks because he wasn't charged. Mm. Okay. Uh, that's a thing I can do. Mm. No, I'm not going. to... Mm. How many wounds did your demon prince got? Prince of demons? Six. Hit you on twos. I have a six, Joe, but I can reroll this one. So that's two mortal wounds immediately, and the attack sequence ends, and then yeah. another one. So I've hit you five of the times, more yeah. wounds are done at the end. I wound you on threes. Yeah. I should have. I was going to spend one CP for sixes to wound you mortal wounds in addition. I didn't. That so, is. So the, four invulnerable saves. So fours. Mm. Fours? So I gave him the, the yeah, gorge, okay, gorgeous perfect. of eternal jobber jobber. And you've got feel no pains? Yeah. So six, six feel no pains. Six feel no pains. Five ups? Are they five ups? They are five ups. You uh, fucking obnoxious two. prick. Under four. <laughs> my, <laughs> silly. My master of possession is going to attack angry Rod. That's fine. Do I spend two CP for plus one to wound? Do you? You tell me. I wound him on fours then. So you win me on fours anyway. You're strength seven, aren't you? Both. Oh yeah. So you win me on threes. If you've been super CP. Super, super. Mm. I thought you are strength seven, aren't you? With the yeah. plus three on the on the pokey stick of doom. So I, I, I mean, you it's could two kill CPs him. Two CP's a lot, though. Isn't two CP's a lot, but I've got four wounds remaining. Yeah, we'll give it a whirl. Sorry, down a one. When I get the reroll. No, but you still hit me three times. It's still yeah. enough. Three's to win me though. Oh, okay. My last CP. Three wounds. Four plus and vulnerables. <gasps> CP reroll. Oh. Uh, two D three damage. I mean, it was Six highly likely. Damage. Angron will die. Yay. I gain two blood tithe points, but you're on nine. Your demon prince can swing. Prince of demons. Oh, yeah. Which I actually thought would be dead by now. Yeah. So he dies. By rights, he should be dead by now. The demon prince? The master of execution. Oh, yeah, yeah, demon prince. Does. Yeah. So the demon prince misses you once. Yeah. I don't explode. 
Are we drawn twos? You do. Uh, minus three. Sixes. Ooh. And that's nine damage. It's all right. What six I find no pains to? I just thought you'd yeah. be doing. All the sixes. I mean, again, it wasn't a terrible effort. No. But he is dead. He tried his best. So another blood tithe point for me. Put to me on ten of the finest blood tithe points. Okay, cool. Okay. Give him hither. Thank you, sir. Cool. End of the turn. Correct? Correct. I'm going to... So you get no prisoners. Yeah, hang on. I'm just going to... Let's see. Can I... Oh, I can't reach... You get no prisoners. Yeah. You don't get tempting target. No. You don't get battlefield supremacy. No, because I only hold one. So, so would you get... like to discard any of those other ones? So I get five points. I'm going to get rid of both battlefield supremacy and attempting. Oh, target. okay. Yeah. You get rid of both. Perfect. Let's move into World Eaters turn four. Mm -hmm. At the end of the phase, I'll spend eight of my uh, six of my blood tithe points. Yeah. To put Angron and Blasphemous for reserves. Mm. Who's black, baby? Six is not. Is, is... Six is maybe too low. I think I think it should be eight. I mean, eight's kind of narrative as well, right? Eight makes sense. So yeah. Angron's back, Jay. Yeah, because that's a three hundred and sixty point model for free, basically. Isn't it? Well, no, because he's only got half his wounds, so he's like a, a hundred and eighty point model. He's, he can turn up anywhere, and he's still terrifying. So Angron returns, yeah. um, and we move into World Eaters turn four. End of the movement phase for the World Eaters. We were told we still have to kill the characters. We're not doing very well at that right now. No characters yet dead. No. Extend battle lines. Hold your home objective in Hulk 1 in No Man's Land. An attempting target for which the Black Legion said, come on, come in the middle. I dare you. Yeah. So what we did is we, we sped the Rhino back here to take home this home objective for us. And we flew Mr. the Lord and Vicarsis over here so that we hold this one and we keep out of heroic intervention range of the Demon Rinse. Yeah. My objective. Mine. All mine. Eight bound have also come to deal with the Demon Prince. So just on the off chance that he becomes a problem, that's a character. Terminator has stepped out of a ruin here, and they can draw a line of sight to Mr. The... What's his name? Master Possession. Yeah, who's not character protected anymore. Mm -hmm. And then that rhino burned that objective because I could. And guess what? He's back. Whee! <laughs> you, sound, you, sound, you were happy in turn one. I was. I was happy. <laughs> So I'm now going to malicious volleys you with my Terminators. Yeah. And I'm going to daka 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 into the Master of Possessions. Yes. The Possession yeah. Master. He owns things. There we go. And we're going to hit you on threes. Because yeah. I'm not a world... I'm not a, a... Yes. A thing and stuff. Angron, by the way, gets none of his abilities. No, because he wasn't on the table. He wasn't on the table. He came in from Blasphemous Reserves. Mm. Uh, and then we're going to wound you on fours. I assume it's fours, right? Yes. Okay. So if we did you three at the times, if you fail, if you could kindly fail all your saves for me, he'll be dead. There we go. <laughs> there you go, I did it for you. You asked what you asked for? <laughs> How did you do that, Joe? With I, the saves you've been making don't. today. How did you do that? I don't okay. know, I'm done today now. <laughs> so, but you've got to play Paddy later with <laughs> against <laughs> Tao. So now the <laughs> eight final charge. The Demon Prince, they're in. Whoop, they're in like that. Look. Yeah. Oh, I needed that. Nine inch for Angron. I have a CP in my pocket today. Yeah. Okay. Angron, nine inch charge. Yeet. Uh, I'm going to use my CP, Joe. Use your CP. Changing the dice. Change the dice. Oh, wow. it got worse. It got worse. Okay. So eight bounder into Demon Prince like this. Boop, boop. That's the noise they make when they charge. Yeah. Okay. And now we're going to fight the Demon Prince. Nice. So I'm going to start with Mr. The Sergeant. What's your strength? Lots. Lots. I. Uh, I think the base strength on the normal guys is six, but yeah. I'll have to check. But then you get plus one for charging, seven. Yes. So, transhuman for a CP. Right, let me just check you have to spend that. I checked, yes. Because I charged, I get plus one strength through being yeah. a world eater. That actually puts me on... I'm base strength six, so that puts me on seven. So you're, yeah. you're right to spend transhuman. So, Mr. The Sergeant, yeah. he is hitting you on the threes. Yeah. Nice. Cool, all of the hits and exploding sixes. Yeah. Ooh. And he's wounding you on the would be threes, four. now fours. Yeah. I mean, I'll take it. Yeah. That's four. At minus enough for an invulnerable save. So fours. Oh, that's yeah. three failures. That's nine damage. I mean, he could do it. Yeah, I mean, technically. The, the way you were rolling, you could. It's all gone horribly wrong. It right? has. Yeah, the gods right. have turned on you. There he's dead. He's very dead. He does explode, though. Does he? Yeah. Really? With the, the, with the, gor the gorget. The pustule and like horrible slimy shit all over my face. Yeah. That's what he does. It's like most Thursdays. He's just like... <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Where is it? 
Hang on. I'm trying to find the, the rules for it now. I mean, I wish you had a codex up on the shelf. In oh, the corner. if only. If That'd be super only helpful. I had a codex, that'd be really helpful. That would be really good, wouldn't so, it? So, it's destroyed. Before moving to play, roll a d6 for each enemy unit within three of the bell. On a two to five, that unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. On the six, it suffers flat three. So you suffer d3 mortal wounds. For three. So one dice. He kills one on the way out. I'll take it. Is it mortal wounds? Yeah. Oh, so I still die because one had already taken a wound. Yeah. So, there you go. There we go. Mr. The Sergeant lives, but it's he fun, does die. It's a fun little relic, that one. Two blood tithe points. So that puts me on six blood tithe points. No, I already killed a character. Puts me on seven blood tithe points. So if, even if I kill Angron, he just comes back next turn anyway. Yes. Great. Essentially. Hmm. Okay. So, what cards do I get? So, hang on. I get a tempting target. No, we don't care about your I points. extended my battle limes, and I got assassinate. Yay! Yay! Jay sounds so happy right now. <laughs> Throw my cards, Jay. No, no retreat, no, no surrender. surrender. Galaxy Quest. Defend your stronghold and deploy a teleport home in my deployment zone. So I'm not getting any points this turn. You can right. defend your stronghold. Mm. Yeah. Well, no, because I can't stop you from getting in there is the problem. Well, if you charge and kill me. Mm. Mm. So Abaddon's going to put all the re-rolls on himself. Oh, that's exactly what I would do. Yeah. Oh, we're I, just going to roll straight through this, are we? Yeah. Okay, cool. We're Perfect. Also, I'm going to spend my one free CP this turn to make the Terminator's word bearers re-roll all hits. Okay, perfect. So Abaddon's going this way. Of course he is. Terminator's going this way. Oh, brave. Like so. Cool? Yep. Cool. 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 Then we're going to do some shooting. Okay, I've got a CP now as well. Cool. Abaddon's going to shoot Angry Ron. I like how you switch to the Black Legion Black Dice. Yeah. I'm a fan of that. He's wounded you... No, I get to read one of those. Twice. Uh, four plus hidden vulnerable... No, it's three plus armor saves. Because you're minus one, right? Yeah. Yeah, good. I'm good. Four... No, it's minus one. Yeah, I start with a two plus. Oh, of course he does. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Many attacks, big well. <laughs> oh, this is into my, my single eight bound. Your single eight bound, yeah. It's a single Pringle ready to mingle. I hit you on twos. <laughs> yeah. And I wound you on. Were bearers real hits only in melee, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Fives, apparently. Because I am tith toughness good. I'm toughness eight demons inside yeah. me. I take a wound. You take a wound. I have two wounds left. You're going to have to charge me, Jay. Yeah. So Abaddon charging Angron. Fail. Oh, he's in. Eight, cool, wants it. The Terminators are going to Because you score at the start of your turn, don't you? Yes, you score at the end. Have you maxed five. your primary? No. How much are you on your primary at the moment? I am on 30 points on primary. So I'm going to charge... That one guy and that one guy. I think you can fit three. You can do it. That's a fail, Joe. It's a five. There we go. But so you... they're going to stay there. <laughs> Right, Ang Abaddon. Okay. Nine. Yes. Twos. Yes. Re rolling. Yes. No explodes. Well, one explodes. So you hit with everything, yeah. essentially. Okay. Threes. Yes, with re rolls. Okay. So we'll keep that one out there at the moment, but I have to roll the save for it, don't I? Yeah. So this is just to say, it's for four plus and vulnerable. <laughs> cool. So I fail two, and I do, you do D3 damage. Yeah. D3 um, mortals. Two. So two mortals. So against the two is six. Yeah. Six up for no pains. Yeah. And then against the two, it's two five up for no pains. Yeah. And if I fail all of them, I die. Hmm. Six ups. Good news, everybody. He's going to live. Got... Five ups. So he lives with two weeks remaining, Joe. <sighs> I mean, I can't kill Abaddon, so it's not really no. <laughs> a massive problem for you. But I do have eight attacks, and you charge me, so I do go to nine attacks. Hmm. I'm still going to hit you on twos. Yes. Always. So, I, and I, I can't re-roll, but I do get two exploded sixes. Yeah. Right when we've all got that roll, isn't it? Yeah. And I am still strength 15. So, but you win me on threes, because Mark and Nurgle. Wasn't a massive problem for me. No. So, all those four plus in runs. So, I ignore the first one. Yes. And then I take three. Yes. So, Abba's got three wins remaining. He's got six wins remaining. Six wins remaining. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I mean, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Right. End of your turn, Jay. Whee! What did you score? Nothing, so let's call them in your turn. 
Well, no. I automatically fail no retreat, no surrender because I left the objective. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do teleport homer. Um, I'll I'll keep defend stronghold. Well, I mean, you're currently defending with your terminators. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Any your turn? Yeah. Well, it's turn five. Yeah. Coming up next. So whilst dueling with Abaddon, Angron's clearly con confused. He no. told me to secure No Man's Land, which would hold two objectives of No Man's Land, but I'd burnt two, so that was impossible. So I traded it in for a CP, and he said, bring it down. He's going to focus on tearing down Abaddon, which he can't do. No. Uh, I then had to storm a hostile objective, which means I've got to take that objective off of Joe, and I've got blood and guts, kill three things in melee, or kill everything that's left. Uh, I, I can't do it. Yeah. I can maybe do this one. So, I moved Lord Invocatus to the side of the objective, and I burnt the objective for five, maxing my primary, because I held two, and I held more, which means that I got ten points, which means I get 15 points this turn, right? I then moved the Terminator seven inches, and shot... I just remembered something. If you do an action, you don't get your aura abilities. So Is that true? Is you can move five, yeah. Really? Yeah, so if you do raise a banner high, then your chapter master doesn't get rerolls. Is that, is that a thing? That's true. I didn't know that. Yeah. I have to go back a little bit. That's right. Just go back. Just just add two to your roll. Oh, like you're going yeah. through dangerous terrain. <laughs> right, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, which means he didn't need to move, really. No. Uh, okay, cool. Well, whatever. Uh, and then I shot my storm bolt to the boxes of the storm into a tummy and did two wounds. I know. I also spent five blood tithe points mm -hmm. on plus one a hit. Yeah. And the tummy is going to charge. How far have I got to go? Wherever it is. Six, seven, seven? Seven. Eight, seven. Nine. Nine. Oh, yeah. So even with the minus two, I'm in. Swing around the back onto your objective, please. There you go. And then we're going to do some fighting with some Terminators, and I need many dice, big wow, and two hands. I'll be back in a second. Okay, Joe, I went and added up the points. Mm. Another landslide victory, one would assume. So for the, for the Black Legion, I'm including the painted bonus in both scores. The Black okay. Legion scored a total of 45 points. Banging. The World Legion scored a total of 92 points. Yeah. Um, there was a moment in turn one and two mm. where I thought, genuinely, this was going to be the first... Spoilers, everyone, spoilers, spoilers. This is going to be the first time I lost with the World Eaters. Yeah. You made an exceptional number of saves, mm. especially with those two decimators in the middle survived yeah, and stuck to Angron. If I got the four up invulnerable save up on the on the two decimators, it might have been different. But, then I, I, but the problem is, I had to deal with Khan. Yeah. Well, I, so I did that on purpose. Yeah. I gave you Khan deal because Khan's yeah. terrifying now. Mm. Like, Khan wasn't that frightening in the past. I yeah. mean, he was okay, but he wasn't that frightening. Now he's 10 attacks on the charge at strength 7, minus 4, flat 3 damage. Yeah. I, I think he's, he's terrifying. Sick. But he is what he should be. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But he's not immortal. He's No, he dies yeah. actually quicker than I anticipated. He's, st it is, he's still... He's still a Space Marine captain. I still mm. think Khan could have legitimately been given Toughness 5 mm. because he's used to just fighting. Yeah. I think that would have been okay. I think that probably would have been maybe too much given the rest of the army. Uh, maybe. I mean, he's 140 points. So he's still quite a lot. I don't know. I'm not he's sure. Still, I'm, he, look, he's I'm complaining he's about... Cheaper than, he's cheaper than uh, Drizar. I'm complaining about a, a character dying in Game 5 with me with World Eaters where I've not scored under 90 points. Yeah. So let's be fair, I probably don't have a leg to stand on when yeah. I'm talking about complaining about anything right now. I, I Having played it a couple of times, and like I said to Liam previously, it's not like he's been playing against bad players, apart from Brom. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> like, and, they're, not, and they're not bad armies. No. Okay? And this is a sub-optimised version of the army as well. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff I'd like to add if yeah. at some point in the near future Games Workshop decided to dispatch... Like, my extra models well, you that we've played got the first few games with two units of Terminators. The game we played the other day, you had two units of Terminators and you forgot about them. <laughs> and you still won. <laughs> right? And, like, it's it's just an army that you can't stop. Basically. I was So there's a few things I was concerned about. I said this in my review. I'm always a person who's more than prepared to put my hand up and say I'm wrong. Yeah. So there's a few things I was concerned about. Thing number one was the speed. I was worried about how fast they wouldn't be without fly. If you tech heavily into infantry and you use the juggernauts, either a Lord on Juggernaut or Lord on Vicartus, then the actual, actually the speed isn't a problem anymore. Yeah. You disembark from a Rhino 3 with a Berserker and then you move 8. So you yeah. get 11-inch move on Berserkers uh, from Rhinos. And like, you kind of need the two Rhinos 
because those are because if your opponent goes first and has like a lot of lot out of sight line of sight shooting, it just protects them, keeps them alive. Well, there's a couple of things you can do with two riders as well that yeah. people haven't considered. It's two war, it's two blood tithe points to get a five up foot opponent against mortals. So against thousand suns, for example, I'm deploying the rhinos empty. I lose 160 points, but I instantly get a five up foot opponent before his psychic phase starts. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Mm. Like I actually think that's okay. Um, so that was one of the first things I worried about was their speed, and I'm I'm starting to learn very quickly that specifically if you tech in again to eight bound berserkers in rhinos and the juggernauts, speed just isn't a problem. No. The only so I had a problem with the terminators in speed, which is why they kind of ambled through here. They scored me some points, obviously, because I burned an objective, I raised a banner, they got into it. So they've got me 15, 20 points, I guess, this game, yeah. which is okay. But I still think that when for the 175 points that those terminators cost, for less points you can take eight bound. 120 points for 3 8 bound, so you're 160 just, points for 4 8 bound. They're just better than Terminators. They, just, they are a million marks. Like, if you, like for instance, I put a unit of 5 Terminators with a 5 up invulnerable save, a 2 up armor save, 3 wounds, and a 5 plus feel no pain into 3, so 200 point unit into 3 8 bound. I killed the unit, and then for 1 2 CP, they fought and just killed the Terminators. If I hadn't first they would just kill the terminator yes no question yeah and i could have done nothing about it in return yeah i mean they are eight bound are exceptional yeah. at the moment and we were talking about this off camera i actually believe eight bound could go up in points by five yeah to make them the same as exalted and exalted could then go up by say five, five yeah. to make them 150 points and i still think they're takeable i still think they're worth their I, points. I still yeah because all you lose in this list so if they went up by five points in your list you lose the Terminators, but you still have points for another unit yeah. of... You, you can even get... You can still fit another three eight bound in or another unit of Berserkers. Yeah. Um, so the other thing that I complained about, uh, and I raged about this quite a lot, was Angron, right? And I said that he was just not good enough. Now... I'll, to be clear, I'll die on the hill that I don't think he's a top table unit. Like, yeah. you won't see World Eaters at the top table with Angron in. I think you can see World Eaters at the top table, but not with Angron in. Talk a little bit more about this in just a second. However, Angron specifically, it's interesting the way you play him now. If you hold that Blood Tithe points for him to come back at, at no less than four, yeah. the second he dies, you gain another two... He isn't some like if you look at Angron like I want to go killing stuff. He'll do that, mm. but that's actually not necessarily his primary role. I think his primary role in this army is the world's biggest distraction kind of thing. He's so annoying to deal with. Yeah, because like two up armor, four plus invulnerable on the faces of it isn't great, but when it's on a sixteen wound toughness, eighteen, eighteen wound toughness seven monster. That yeah. can fly sixteen inches. The big the, yeah. and that, and the biggest thing for me is the fact that he ends up basically. Just coming back for so you, think, you don't actually get eighteen wounds, you get twenty six wounds. Yeah, because you're going to bring him back at least once. I think. I think having him because obviously you could do the strike and the sweep, which makes sense because he's got a sword and an axe. But like also at the same time, kind of feel like that's probably a bit too much because like he's hyper. If you charge three units. He's hyper efficient on what he does. Yeah, yeah, if I'd have got a little bit lucky and you did not rolled quite so high on your saving throws, when he charged the contemptor, the character, and the infantry, he could have killed all three. I mean, he killed yeah. two of them. Like I, I got super lucky on my four up invulnerable saves. If I had, if I didn't have that, he would have killed both decimators and then just because the decimators held him up for a turn, and then he would have just rolled into my lines. And this would have been a lot quicker game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I do, I do think that there is a place for him in a list, and I think he's performing okay. I think he's performing a lot better than I anticipated, and I, and I may have been wrong about how bad he is. I still don't think that in a top-table competitive world it is this, I would ever take him. I would instantly replace him with another Juggernaut, yeah. and I would then take the Terminators out, I would probably take the Contemptor out, fill with 8-bound, Exalted 8-bound. That's my army. I probably would think about dropping the Master Executions as well as well. So I would take a Juggernaut Lord. I'd take a Juggernaut Lord Khan, and I'd take a Lord Invocatus, and I'd probably, that would be my HQ choices, and if I'm talking competitively, because then I'm only giving up 10 points for Assassinate, yeah. right, in terms of actual, not Tempest of War, but actual competitive. Fill the army, Berserkers, Rhinos, 8-bound, Exalted, 8-bound, job done, let's go, have a pie. Yeah. And the only other thing this army, I think, really, really struggles with is a defence against mortal wounds, which is why I take two rhinos and I deploy them empty if I need to. Uh, I would also think about sticking spawn in the list, if I'm honest. This, this is a bold statement, but I actually think that World Eaters are the new Harlequins. But I think they're just... I, I dare say this. I think they're better than they're Harlequins. They're better than Harlequins. Yeah. Because, because 
they've only got a limited amount of stratagems. You can only take one Warlord trait. You can only take one Relic. You're starting the game on four CP. Yeah. Whereas most competitive players are only starting on two, sometimes even only one. Yeah, yeah. Right? And then every time something dies, your army gets a bonus. Yeah. And it doesn't matter whose side it's on, which is, like, for the blood type thing, which I think is brilliant, like, it just means that every time anything dies, even if it killed itself, if your entire opponent just just mass committed suicide, yeah. you'd, you'd get even stronger. It's su- it's, I like, uh, I, I think... <laughs> I don't know what i do to curb this army from being less oppressive or being more, more oppressive. It's just... It's destroying me, is what it is. It's killing myself. Quite literally, on the table as well. Hope you guys have enjoyed this first pre-recorded free battle report on the channel that I've done for a very, very, very long time. We went back to old school, just grabbed the phone and did it because if I kept trying to film it with fancy cameras and stuff that isn't a live stream, it was taking me ages and I would be bringing you additional content. Yeah. I want to bring you additional content. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like live streams but like to watch pre-recorded. So if you have joined us for the first time and watched this pre-recorded battle report, please hit that sub button. Please make sure you hit that like button and please drop us a comment and let us know what you think. I'll get used to this again doing this for YouTube, hopefully. Joe, you're a legend. We're gonna do that, we're gonna try and film every Thursday, right? Yes, that's the goal. So half of them will be behind the members' paywall, or if you're already a DZ customer, they're in the deployment zone. The other half will be available for free for everyone to watch so we can go, hey, yeah. this is what you get if you either become a DZ customer or you become a skull tier member. Yeah. Right? You're a legend. I'm enjoying World Eaters. I can tell. I'm going I, to I, now I can understand why. Everyone in the future will be. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to we're going to walk over to the shop, Joe. I'm going yeah. to buy you dinner because I feel like I should have bought you dinner before I'm, I fucked you. I'm just going to cry. Into yeah. Whatever it is for you. Yeah. You're a legend, though. Right. I love you dearly. Love you too. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.